The messenger is claimed to have been incapable of reading and writing. The term for that in Arabic is ummi. Ummi, incapable of two things, reading or writing. هُوَ الَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ He is the one who sent among the unlettered, unlettered implying no reading, no writing, a messenger from among themselves, يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ He reads on to them his miraculous signs. Now the thing is, the first part of the ayah said, he's unlettered. And the next part of the ayah says what? He reads, he recites. Now the thing is, obviously reading is done with the eyes. It's obvious that reading is an act that's engaged in with the eyes, and that's the word used. The other thing that's important to note about reading, and the reason the Qur'an is called a book also, the Qur'an calls itself a book. It does that. When it's called a book, it's actually making reference to its origin. And what is the origin? What's the origin of the Qur'an? You know? There's this, this, this guarded document, this tablet, which is the storage place of all revelations in the form of a book. It's called the mother of all books. And when the word kitab is used, book is used for the Qur'an, it is to illustrate the speech you are delivering is a copy on your, a certified copy on your heart of the original manuscript that's up there. Hence the word book is used. But, but, we find where was the Qur'an revealed? Do you know where it was revealed? Into the heart of this man. نَزَلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الْأَمِينَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِكَ The angel Jibreel came down with it upon your heart. When you and I read, where do we read from? Memory. But Allah explains, and when, when this ayah came down, this ayah came down about the, heart, the Qur'an being revealed on the messenger's heart. You know what the messenger himself said? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He said, كَأَنَّهُ مَكْتُوبٌ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ It is as though it was written on my heart. So when he's reading, where is he reading from? A different faculty is involved. For all of us, the faculty of eyes are involved in reading. But for a messenger, his heart is the one that recites. His heart is the one that reads. SubhanAllah, it's, it's a remarkable parallel or, or a distinction made. So that's, that's a little bit about the, the, the concept of usage of the word reading and book in reference to the Qur'an.